India has been upgrading its air defense infrastructure to deal with everything from drones to cruise missiles. From the imported S-400 to the indigenous Akash missile system, the country is building a multi-layered shield across its borders. One of the latest systems to enter service is Akash Tir, a command and control platform built to unify India's short-range air defense assets. Developed by Bharat Electronics, the Akash Tir is already being deployed across army formations and was recently used during Operation Sindor, where it reportedly helped intercept aerial threats along the western border. So, in today's video, we're taking a closer look at the Akash Tir air defense system, what it does, how it fits into India's broader strategy, and why its early use is being closely watched. Let's dive in. Akash Tir is the product of years of research into improving the automation and responsiveness of India's low-level air defense environment. Bharat Electronics, the state-owned defense electronics manufacturer, has led the project in coordination with the Indian Army's Air Defense Directorate. Unlike missile systems that rely on hardware superiority alone, Akash Tir focuses on improving the information flow, targeting process, and operational coordination among existing platforms. India's low-level air defense assets include a variety of radars, missiles, and guns, many of which were previously operated independently with limited integration. This created a challenge, how to unify legacy and modern systems into a cohesive shield that can detect, track, and engage fast-moving threats, especially UAVs, helicopters, cruise missiles, and low-flying aircraft. Akash Tir was designed to solve that problem by creating a real-time, layered control and reporting structure. The Cabinet Committee on Security cleared the acquisition of Akash Tir in March 2023 at a cost of roughly $130 million. The project is seen as a critical step toward battlefield digitization, especially as drone threats rise across both border and hinterland scenarios. At its core, Akash Tir is a command and control system for coordinating short-range air defense responses. It automates the monitoring of aerial targets, correlates data from multiple sensors, and allows operators to assign weapons to threats in real time. It links together a variety of inputs, ground-based surveillance radars, electro-optical systems, and passive sensors into a single, integrated picture. The system is mobile, fully networked, and designed to support highly decentralized operations. Each formation-level air defense control center is equipped with ruggedized shelters, advanced computing units, and communication tools that enable secure data sharing across wide areas. Operators can track multiple threats simultaneously and queue multiple weapon systems at once, depending on availability and priority. Akashtir also helps reduce fratricide, incidents of friendly fire, by maintaining a recognized air picture across units and preventing duplicate or misdirected engagements. This becomes especially important in a fast-moving battlefield environment, where drones, helicopters, and manned aircraft can appear within seconds and demand immediate response. One of the standout features of Akash Tir is its interoperability, the system has been designed to plug into India's wider Integrated Air Command and Control System, which oversees airspace surveillance and coordination across the Air Force and other services. This means Akashtir doesn't function in isolation. It enhances the Army's ground-based defenses while contributing to the larger national air defense grid. In practical terms, this allows seamless coordination between various radar types, including indigenous 3D tactical control radars and legacy systems still in use. It also integrates with surface-to-air missile systems, like the Akash SAM, as well as towed anti-aircraft guns such as the L-70, and future systems expected to enter service. Because of its modular architecture, Akash Tir can be upgraded over time with new software and threat libraries. It also supports training simulators and after-action review tools 
making it not just a battlefield system, but a platform for sustained readiness. As drone warfare expands and aerial threats become more difficult to detect and intercept, the need for effective command and control becomes more pressing. Akashtir fills a critical gap by allowing India to coordinate and react faster, with better accuracy and fewer operational blind spots. The system is especially relevant given recent incursions by UAVs across India's western and northern borders. During Operation Sindor last month, the Akashtir Air Defense Control System was deployed by the Indian Army to counter aerial threats near the western border. According to Indian defense officials, the system enabled real-time coordination across multiple Shorat units and achieved what they claimed was a 100% kill rate against incoming drones and missiles, including the Turkish TB-2 UAVs. While Pakistani sources have not formally commented on Akashtir's effectiveness, some analysts acknowledged gaps in Pakistan's drone survivability. Western observers noted that the operation highlighted India's growing capability in integrated air defense and battlefield automation. With Akashtir in place, operators can create a low-level air defense bubble around sensitive installations, military convoys, or forward bases. Its mobility means it can move with advancing forces rather than being tied to static positions. Compared to importing similar systems from abroad, Akashtir provides a domestic solution that supports India's push for defense self-reliance under the Make in India initiative. The manufacturer has stated that the system is fully indigenous and several private and public sector partners contributed to its development. While Akashtir brings digital integration to the forefront, its effectiveness still depends on the quality and readiness of the systems it connects. India's Shorad inventory includes platforms of varying ages and capabilities, and some may not be fully compatible with advanced features like automated queuing or real-time target classification. Moreover, as aerial threats become more autonomous and capable of swarming, there may be a need to integrate artificial intelligence-driven analytics or machine-speed decision-making in future upgrades. For now, Akashtir provides a critical stepping stone toward network-centric warfare, but continued investment in supporting sensors and weapons will be key. Looking ahead, Akashtir is expected to be deployed across multiple army formations, with plans to expand its footprint and integrate even more platforms over time. If successful, it could become a blueprint for similar systems in other branches of India's armed forces and possibly a candidate for export to friendly countries with comparable defense needs. So, what do you think about the Akashtir air defense system? Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this video insightful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest defense news and analysis.